time to prevent a situation occurring where Cameron did actually try and cut and run at some point in the future. Is it possible, even though they've seemed to, to set their face uh, very strongly against any kind of electoral reform, that um, the Tories could agree to it or they could put something uh, that would tempt the, the Liberals on the basis that, look, it would go out to the people in a referendum, but the Tories wouldn't necessarily have to support it in that referendum? That would appear to be about the only um, bone that David Cameron could offer uh, his own new parliamentary party, many of whom are young, inexperienced, and even more right-wing than the people who went before them, are uh, very strong uh, proponents of first-past-the-post. As is Mr. Cameron himself, it must be said. Uh, his argument has been that it provides majority government. Now, clearly, it hasn't. So there is a need for some changes. But whether he uh, could even get a, a promise of a referendum, which the party would then not support subsequently in a referendum past his own rank, is, uh, is very much open to question. The, uh, Mark, uh, just stay with us a moment, because I, and, and I want to come back to you, but I want to go now to uh, Michelle Gildernew, who's in the... Uh, Throws of uh, an absolutely uh, knife edge fight for the seat there in Fermanagh South Tyrone, uh, attempting to hold her seat. What would you're into the third recount there, Michelle Gildernew? What's the very latest there? Hiya, Sean. Well, yes, it's very exciting here in Fermanagh South Tyrone. Um, 